so students uh, so uh, students uh, we are going to discuss the third problem related to the eye after uh, myopia and hypometrophy that is uh, uh, plus myopia this is an interesting condition and it's um, uh, usually caused uh, basically due to aging that is so uh, uh, the power of uh, the accommodation of the uh, human eye lens um, it usually uh, decreases with age so that's how it's caused it simply means that uh, uh, people with plus biophia uh, can't see uh, nearby objects they won't be able to see uh, very near objects uh, in a clear manner. Now, now, now there is a very key point here. Um, the condition, condition which we discussed uh, um, and before this thing, that is hypermetrophia, it's also, uh, they, they, they also, it's quite similar. So what's the difference? Now in hypermetrophia, uh, not the point that, uh, the near point, I mean the, the shortest distance of, from the eye lens, by uh, with, with, with which you can see clearly an object that is uh, for normal eye now that's uh, for normal eye lens that's 25 centimeters is farther from the uh, this particular uh, measurement so for hypermetrophia uh, it would be something like uh, 25 centimeters plus which means that it could be 30 centimeters something like that so that's about uh, hypermetrophia but in the condition which we are discussing now that is a uh, press biophia not the point that uh, because uh, the accommodative power of the lens is uh, going away, it's receding. Uh, uh, it simply means that there is no near point. I mean, it's not that uh, 25 centimeters becomes something, uh, I mean, uh, more than that or less than or nothing like that. The near point, the, 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 the functional aspect which we call the near point. So the key point here is that the difference between hypermetrophy and plus biophia is that uh, as far as plus biophia is concerned there is no near point so not that point is very important now what are the reasons for this particular condition called plus biophia so there are uh, basically uh, two reasons the first one is uh, uh, it's a gradual uh, weakening of the muscles which hold the crystalline human lens that is the ciliary muscles uh, which means that the muscles can't pull the lens out uh, to make the to change the curvature of the lens uh, which causes the lens to alter its focal length so that that power is lost or the power of accommodation of the human uh, eye lens is gradually lost that's the point and the second is uh, <coughs> of course the uh, diminishing uh, flexibility so the diminishing flexibility uh, of the human islands of the island so these are the two reasons the prime reasons for plus biopia now uh, how can we rectify it now there's an there's a uh, interesting condition where uh, people could have both uh, uh, myopia and uh, hypermetrophia So for uh, such people, how can it, how can, what, what is the solution? Now we have already covered hypermetrophy and myopia, so I am not repeating it. So how can we cure the problem of a person having both the conditions? Now we know that uh, uh, hypermetrophy means that uh, you can't see nearby objects. Myopia means that, means that you can't see uh, distant objects. So interestingly, you can, uh, what if we use a lens, uh, uh, I mean an artificial lens which has both the properties, something like so, uh, so this is a human eye, and uh, you have the lens. So, so somewhere here you have the retina. And suppose this person is, uh, uh, so this is a ciliary muscle. So suppose uh, this person is uh, affected by both these conditions, myopia and hypermetrophy. So the, the solution, the interesting solution, is, uh, um, we can solve it by having a combination of a concave and convex lens. That's very interesting. So uh, maybe something like this is uh, you have a convex, uh, concave lens, and uh, it's not. I mean, it's, it's not a complete concave lens, and it's uh, 
something like merged with a uh, convex lens. So this is the so it's a you can call it a uh, bifocal uh, bifocal lens. So here this is the concave part. Uh, this is the convex part. Now what happens? So, so now now that this person can't see distant objects as well as near objects. So so for for cases of I mean the the disability to see distant objects which basically suppose an object is an infinity so for rays coming from there we are, we are using a concave lens I mean there's a divergent ray coming out and uh, naturally um, the focus is formed at right now I mean that's the part which is doing the that's the concave part is doing that job and for a nearby object uh, something like this so you can see that here also uh, uh, a, a focus is formed uh, I mean um, an image is formed on the rectus so for so not the point that uh, interestingly in cases like this uh, by, by combining both a uh, concave as well as a convex lens so both the problems of uh, not seeing distant objects and not seeing near nearby objects can be solved uh, to conclude this section um, there could also be uh, refractive defects of the human uh, human lens so refractive defects uh, and uh, how do you solve such conditions so uh, two ways to solve such conditions uh, either you can use uh, contact lenses or uh, maybe you have to go for a uh, surgical procedure it is a surgical uh, intervention thank you